Hi, I'm thrilled to be back for year three of Basketball Day Indiana, and we begin our lead into that special day here at Bloomington North High School. Now, Bloomington North has a nice basketball history. They are the final single class state champions. That happened back in 1997. They've turned out NBA players Jared Jeffries and Sean May. The coach of the Portland Trailblazers, Terry Stotts, played here, as did former IU player, Texas Tech coach, and now a scout for the Indiana Pacers, Pat Knight. So there's a nice tradition at this school, a tradition this year's team would like to carry on. The Cougars are 3-1, and one, their only loss coming at the hands of 13th-ranked center Grove. So Coach Jason Spear is pretty happy with the way things are going right now. Uh, off to a fantastic start. Um, we, we've kind of had, you know, a, kind of a gamut of different games. Uh, we, we've had a, a low-scoring tight one where we had to make some free throws at the end. We, we played a top-five team pretty close. Uh, kind of had a, a run out with some transition and, uh, you know, kind of a 10-point win. So we've kind of had some different games uh, here to start. What are your goals for this team? What, how good can this team be? Well, we're, we're still awful young. Uh, we're kind of st still kind of learning about what it is that we can do and what we can accomplish. But we'd like to think we have a pretty high ceiling. You know, come tournament time, we want to be playing our best. Now tonight, the Cougars are squaring off against a struggling Evansville North team. The Huskies come in one and six, but they're hoping to get their season turned around with an upset win tonight here in Bloomington. And if you're wondering about some of their alumni, Evansville North has turned out a couple of former Purdue players, Dave Shellhouse and Bob Ford, both of whom went on to short professional careers. Shellhouse went on to coach at Indiana State. So our countdown to Basketball Day Indiana has begun. It will all come your way January 19th right here on Fox Sports Indiana.